Crazy Climber for the Atari 2600. This is an incredibly fun arcade game. I love the speech effects in it. Uh, the guy screams, oh no, and all this other stuff. It really cracks me up. First time I saw this game was at the local putt-putt that a group of my friends I used to go to. Uh, back in the uh, fall of 83, I had my car. I was running around. I was working. Where was I working in 83? I think I was working at Lofner's Cafeteria. I think it's where I was working. And after work, a group of us would go to the putt-putt golf course to go to their arcade and play various games. And this is one of the games I really like playing. I uh, didn't really get too far in the game. I can't play it worth a darn in the arcade. I still can't play it worth a darn, so... It's still a fun game to play. Uh, I definitely like the gameplay mechanics of the arcade version. And all the different uh, enemies you fight. You got people dropping a lot flower pots on you. You have birds doing their business on you. You have all kinds of... A monkey that tries to knock you off the building. All kinds of weird things going on. I mean, the goal of the game is get to the top to get to the helicopter. I've gone up there a few times. I think I've gotten past the second building once. I think the second building has an electric sign you gotta avoid, if I remember right. But I don't get there very often. Anyway, we're gonna talk about the home version for the 2600. This was an exclusive game as part of the Atari Age uh, Club. I used to be subscribed to that magazine you know, back in the day, and I would pick up some of these exclusive games, and this is one of the last ones I picked up from the Atari Age Club. I want to say, uh, I don't know if this ever was released. I don't remember seeing this in any stores. You know, 83 is when the video game crash was starting to happen. So I think this was only available through Atari Age at the time through the club. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a terrible historian. I just like playing games. So, yeah, deal with it. Anyway, did pick this up out of the magazine. Was really excited to get a hold of it because I really love the arcade game. And while the 2600 version is you know, very scaled down, the gameplay is there, and it's a fairly fun game. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, this is not my original. Uh, my original was lost years ago when I moved to my current house. Uh, a lot of my video games got five-finger discounted by the moving company, and this was in a box that disappeared. But anyway... And this is not an original box either. This is one I picked up just to make this video. It's a reproduction box. So there's probably going to be some little differences on it because it's a reproduction box. Really cool artwork. Love this. Got the vulture coming after him. Number 2683. On the back gives you a screenshot of the game. It's very representative of the game. Like I said, it's very rudimentary graphics. The gameplay is very rudimentary, but the gameplay is there. It's actually a really fun game. Come one and come all. Watch the deathifying feats of a human fly. Crazy Climber. Help him scale the world's tallest buildings while avoiding tumbling girders, a marauding bird, and a villainous mad doctor. Hurry up! The show's about to start. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> of course, you got the original cartridge. Now, this is an original cartridge. I've had a few of these over the years. I don't know why I don't hang on to them. The last one I found, I found for $2 at a retro game store over by uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. That one I sent to Ferg for his collection. Um, this one, I don't remember where I picked this one up at. I've had it for a while. And of course, I've got the manual with it as well. A nice full color manual. The arcade favorite. Has like a little video times in the front. News flash. Gives you it gives you the background of the uh, the game, you know, the mad Doctor Kong's climber, Condor lays lethal eggs. Will he fall? Well, when Willie's playing, he falls a lot. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and read this here real, real quick. Climate Kurt's catastrophe. Video Central. Police have reported an agile daredevil nicknamed Crazy Climber of a residence trying to scale the tallest building in the city. Witnesses some of whom have been taken to the hospital with kinks in their necks, say that the climber has been barraged with flower pots, buckets of water, baskets of fruit by a madman known only as the Mad Doctor. Residents of the building have complained of the disturbance. It's impossible to get any sleep around here, said one red-eyed resident. 
Flower pops keep breaking against the side of the building. A lunatic climbing past my living room window, and to make matters worse, a crazy bird keeps flapping back and forth outside. I'm going batty. According to High Place City officials, the crazy climber has vowed to reach the top of the building against all odds. Officials who have since inspected the building have discovered loose hinges of many of the windows, closing the close on the climber's fingers. These buildings weren't meant for climbing," said one city building inspector. Police have blocked off the street, and 24-hour watch on the climber has been posted. A helicopter is waiting at the top of the building to pick up Crazy Climber if he makes it. Keep reading for late-breaking details. Now back to your regularly scheduled gameplay. <laughs> I like how they have a little story that explains the gameplay. Yes, you gotta be aware of these windows that close. I forgot to mention that during the arcade thing. They close on your hands, it'll knock you off. You know, some of the gameplay strategies I had for the arcade game was make sure I had both hands on the ledge if a flower pot was coming down so you won't be popped off. And a lot of times I would straddle between two sets of windows because you'll climb twice as fast because you skip windows as you uh, climb up. So you can climb faster if you straddle the, the beam, the wall, in between two banks of windows. Anyway. So it talks about the different enemies. you got the Mad Doctor, the Condor, you got Falling Girders, the Electric Sign. Ooh, got to watch out for that. Helicopter at the top. The graphics are pretty cool. Yeah, you only have 30 seconds to grab the run of the helicopter when you get to the top. you got to move fast. Talks about the console controls, your scoring. Let me have some helpful hints. Climb as fast as possible to score maximum bonus points. Well, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Foil the Mad Doctor by climbing between two rows of windows. His missiles will whisk by harmlessly by your head. Then we have our game select matrix. So we have some uh, five one-player games. And we have five two-player games. And you can actually select which building you want to start on. You know, one through four. Or you can play the novice level. That's probably the level I'm going to play, novice. Because <laughs> Billy can't play this game worth a darn. All right, let's pop this in the old Atari. Let's do some climbing. All right, Crazy Climber, building number one. Let's go ahead and hit the reset here. I love the intro music. They did a good job with the intro music on this game. And yeah, start climbing. Open up window. Open up. There we go. Well, I can make it best. Oh, man, I could have made it. There we go. Oh, no. Really fall down, go boom. Good hint. Best way to avoid the mad doctor is to straddle these crazy things, these windows. Oh, great. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Oh, good. I was hanging on. Got lucky. Yee. <laughs> Advantage Willy. Oh, no, no. Oh, right on top of the head. Your character, character kind of looks like a football player from the back. I mean, it's already a good job with this game. You know, with the limited memory and, and stuff on the 2600, it's amazing the games that the programmers are able to, to do on the 2600. Ow! Oh, I'll let go with the other hand and down Willie goes. Come on, get up that building. Get up that building. Get the timing out just right, you can uh, zip right up the building pretty quick. Yeah, so much 
tonight, evil dog. Ooh, threw the water bucket at me. Ah! Windows closed on me again. I got a little too greedy. Get to the chopper! Come down, come down. Oh, come on, reach up, you little bugger. Come on! Oh, come on! Ah, oh, rats. I think this is the building that has the girders that fall on you. Straddle, there we go. Climb, climb like the wind. Yep, here comes the girders. Spider Willy, Spider Willy. Oh no! Oh! Yeah, it doesn't matter if you got your hands on both uh, ledges, the girders will knock you off. Let's try a different building here. Let's uh, go to, let's see, uh, building number four. There we go. It's the upper level. Hell, these windows close a lot quicker. Oh. oh my gosh, it's, oh jeez! I'm gonna call OSHA on this building, man. There's stuff flying everywhere. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, get off that ledge. Oh no, ow! Oh. Part of this game for me is grabbing on that crazy helicopter at the top of the building. Oh, great. Here comes Pooh Bird. Hang on, Willie. Hang on. Oh, hang on both hands. Oh, oh, oh. Thunk. Ah! Back up. Oh, let's go over. There we go. Oh, shoot. That was close. Go, 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 go. Oh! Should have stopped. Got too greedy. Oh, they suckered me. I like how he pulls himself up. That's a neat animation. Come on. There we go. But will he get to the top of building four? Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Come on, Windows. There we go. Oh, oh. Man, I always fall for that. And I died. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> anyway. That's Crazy Climber for the Atari 2600, a really cool arcade translation for the 2600. Came out back in 1983. Did you ever get this game? 
you know, from a, from the Atari Age uh, Club? If so, comment down below. What were your initial thoughts on the game, if you, if you remember? Uh, what do you think of the game now? You know, it, it seems to play fairly well. I mean, it's got some good gameplay mechanics. I really enjoy it. Anyway, as always, everyone, thanks for watching.